Happy Monday, you guys. Hopefully you're all staying healthy. Had a great weekend. It's Monday, March 30th. Today, all you're going to need is one heavy object, your body, and a timer. All right, let's start with some dynamic warm-ups. Today, I want to start with some hip circles going both directions. It's actually going to be four reps to make one rep, and we're going to do ten of these. So first with the right leg, bring the knee up, rotate it backward. Then take the left leg, knee up, rotate it backward. Right leg up to the side and forward. Left leg up to the side and forward. We're gonna do a series of one, two, three, four. That's two, and keep going till 10. Three. Four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, and ten. Next, we'll just do some jumping jacks. I want to do 20 today. And one of the twists. So lunge it out. Make sure there's a 90 degree angle on that front leg. Twist over that front leg. Should feel it in the hips. And come back up. Left leg down. 90 or so degrees in that front leg. Twist over. And back up. We're going to do 10 total, five each side. And trying to keep that front knee at a 90. All right, let's do some shoulder circles. Start them nice and big and forward. Cross those hands over in front. Nice and big, slowly bring them to tighter circles. Out to the side, still going forward, so they're nice and tight, and then stop and switch directions, tight circles backwards, pinching those shoulder blades, slowly widening those circles till the hands are crossing over again. Good, great job. Let's do some squats, five air squats, and then we'll do five squat jumps. So five air squats with a pause, three seconds at the bottom, hips forward, knees out, come back up. Five of those. And then squat jumps. So hands back, down, up. Try to absorb that landing as much as possible. Five of these. Good. Got some mountain climbers coming. So let's just do five slow mountain climbers with that kind of greatest stretch in the world variation. And then five fast ones. So it'll look like this. Bring that foot next to the right foot next to the right hand look up feel the stretch back out left foot by the left hand look up feel the stretch do six of these actually so we're even first first round nice and slow six reps of the big mountain climbers
and then we're going to go into traditional mountain climbers, which is just knees to the chest. Six of those. Okay, should be warm. Press pause, grab a drink of water, and we'll get back to the next session. For strength today, we've got another superset. Uh, one and a quarter goblet squats, four times 15 each, 30 seconds rest. After the 30 seconds rest, you're going to go into a one arm kettlebell row with rotation. You're going to do 10 of those four times. So it's 15 reps on the goblet squats, one and a quarter goblet squats, 10 reps on the kettlebell row. To show you those movements, um, for the goblet squat, it can be a kettlebell or any heavy object really. Just be safe getting it up, try to clean it into that goblet position. Uh, as far as the goblet goes, that kettlebell can be doing anything it wants, that object really. As long as it's here in that tight elbow front racked position, your midline is stacked and stable. You can even hold it like that if you want. And then find that squat stance, lead with the butt back, down, and then come up a quarter and back down and up. That's one and a quarter squat. Again, that's down, up a quarter, back down and up. That's one rep of a one and a quarter goblet squat. You're doing 15 of those, rest for 30 seconds. Now the one arm kettlebell row, if you have a bench, use it. If you only have a chair, no problemo. You can either put your knee on the edge of that chair and the hand at the front or the other edge of that chair. Put the, the uh, right foot comfortably out. Uh, you're going to grab that kettlebell or it could be a dumbbell or whatever your heavy object is in the neutral hand position. So kind of like you're driving a nail with a hammer in that neutral grip position. As you pull up, you're going to rotate the palm forward and then back down into that neutral position. So in succession, it's gonna look like this. Up, palm forward, down, neutral. Up, palm forward, down, neutral. Maintaining that midline the whole time, nice stable back. Then you're gonna do, you're doing 15 each side for these, okay? You're gonna switch directions. Yeah, sorry, just trying to face you. Pop that left, right knee up there, hand forward, and again, neutral position, palm out up, down to neutral, out up, down to neutral. That's your one arm kettlebell rows with rotations. You'll rest 30 seconds after 10 of those. Go back to the one and a quarter goblet squats, do 15 each side rest 30 seconds, and so on and so forth until you've done four sets of each exercise. Go ahead and press pause. Uh, start your running timer. Make sure you take those 30 second breaks and I'll see you back here for conditioning. All right, great job on that strength. Uh, for conditioning today, we've got a 10 minute AMRAP. Uh, what that means is as many repetitions as possible in 10 minutes, okay? So we've got the first movement, there's three movements. The first movement is air squats. So nice and simple, don't need anything. Squat stance, squat down, back up, down, up, down, up. That's your air squat. Now, if you want to make that harder, um, you're welcome to grab an object, make them goblets. Do 20 of those, 20 air squats or 20 goblet squats. Or if you don't have any objects, you can just do squat jumps, 20 of those, okay? Don't have to complicate it. You can stick to the air squats, do 20 of whatever you choose. Then you're rolling right into 15 reverse crunches. For the reverse crunch, grab any object behind you. I don't know where you are. I picture you guys kind of in your living room. 
So if that's a coffee table, no sweat. If you had a, a kettlebell, just grab it by the handle. As long as it's a fairly fixed object. And then you're gonna put your knees out into a slight leg raise position. Bring the knees forward, tailbone up, and back out into that leg raise position. So 15 reverse crunches. If you wanna make that easier, keep the knees bent. Up, out, up, out. But I challenge you to do the leg raise version. And then you've got 10 burpees. So after the 15 reverse crunches, you have 10 burpees. Um, you know these, but I will go over them. Down into the push-up position, up, clap. If you want, I'll do one more. Down, up. If you want to scale that back to a squat thrust, do it. Plank out, back up, boom. Squat thrust. If you need to scale even further, find a bench or even that coffee table. Do your push up from here, hop to a burpee. Out, up. Okay? 10 of those. So, again, for 10 minutes, you're doing as many repetitions as possible of 20 air squats, 15 reverse crunches, 10 burpees, then back up to those 20 air squats. All right. Press pause, start that clock for 10 minutes. And I'll see you back here for the finisher. All right, welcome back. Probably harder than you thought. I know it was only 10 minutes, but anyway. All right, we're back for the finisher. So the finisher today is bird dogs, three sets of five each side, which I'll show you, and then 10 glute bridges between each of those three sets. Um, for the bird dog, the hardest part is literally remembering that it's opposite arm, opposite leg. So your right arm up, left leg up, squeezing that glute. That's this part of your butt. Squeeze it hard. Back down. Five each side. Really focus on squeezing that glute. Give it a pause at the top. You're not in a rush for these. So, three sets of five each side, so 10 total reps each set. In between those three sets, you're gonna do 10 glute bridges. That's these guys. Bring the heels as close to your butt as you can and squeeze those glutes, pressing your hips to the sky. Glute bridge. 10 of these between every set of bird dogs. If you want to make these a little more challenging, do single leg ones. Boom, boom, boom. If you are going to make them challenging, I challenge you to do 10 each side on the single leg glute bridges. And that's it for the finisher. We'll see you back here for the shutdown challenge. Welcome back. Now for the shutdown challenge. The reps will be in your description. I'm gonna demo the movements right now. First you have ab mats. If you don't have an ab mat, you can use a folded sweatshirt. You can even use a couch pillow, small pillow. Uh, tuck that object of cushion, lumbar support up against your tailbone. Feet face each other. Your legs are in the butterfly position. Back, touch the ground, up, make sure your shoulders cross the plane. That's an ab mat sit up. Next, after that is lunges. It's pretty straightforward. Try to find that 90 in the knee. Don't track too far over the toe. Stand back up. Same thing. Alternate legs. Make sure that strides wide enough to find that 90. After lunges, push ups. Push up so like this, chest to the ground, if you can. Knees, if you can't do feet from the foot position. 
And if you need to scale even further, find a bench, ottoman, chair, and do the push-ups to the bench. And last but not least, we have burpees. Burpees, drop to the floor, jump up, or up downs or squat thrusts, plank out, up. Okay, enjoy that challenge. We'll see you tomorrow for the next day at home get ripped workout. Thanks so much, you guys. Hey folks, really appreciate you tuning in. Please do us a favor, press that like button, subscribe, find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, like us, like us, follow us, follow us. Stay healthy.